So next week is the release of the Flash movie as a part of the DCEU. Yes, this movie is still a part of the DCEU before officially transitioning into James Gunn's DCU. And I thought for today's video before the movie releases that I would do a top 10 list of the Flash movie Funko Pops. Let's kick it off with my number 10 pick. So coming in at number 10 on my list is the common Supergirl. This is not too bad. It's really cool to see Supergirl in this. And if I'm not mistaken, and I think this is a different Supergirl compared to the Supergirl from the TV series. And this is not too bad. It's in simplistic posing. You know, you, she's flying, she's got the fist out, and then her hair is kind of slicked back. It's nothing too much, but it's cool to see other characters than obviously a bunch of just flashes, which we kind of do see in this set. But it's cool to see a different variety of characters other than the Flash as a part of this set. And I thought Supergirl should be a part of this, at least at number 10. Coming in at number 9 on my list is the common Batman, but it is the Ben Affleck Batman. Now, this isn't too bad of a Batman. It's cool to see multiple Batmans in this movie. You can definitely tell it is the Ben Affleck version because of the outfit and how it's gray. And you have that thicker Batman logo on the chest there, rather than what you normally see with, let's say, Michael Keaton Batman, which we will get into in a little bit. I mean, it's in a little bit of a simplicity posing where it's just the fist up and the one arm to the side but I mean that might be all you need plus I mean with how highly hyped this movie is there may be more pops coming out within the rest of 2023 for this movie so this might not be the only Ben Affleck Batman that we could get in this set I love how they have obviously the white eyes popping out there because if they just had black eyes it would just look kind of weird but the suit that Ben Affleck has does really pop out with that gray and it makes the black in the middle for the logo and the yellow belt just pop out really nicely. The cape is kind of flowing in the wind there. It's not too bad of a pop, but it could have been better though, which is why it's at number nine. Coming in at number eight on my list, it is the Funko Shop exclusive Barry Allen in monkey robe. Now this is an interesting pop. When I first saw this, it made me really curious of what this scene could be. And I feel like that was a lot of people's thoughts also, which is why this pop is unique. I mean, it's a little bit simplistic, obviously with posing, but it's that monkey onesie robe that just really sticks out and makes you really curious about what could happen in this movie involving this scene. It's a decent pop, but it's definitely not right up there as one of my top favorites, especially when it comes to detail, which is why it's a little bit low, but definitely deserved at least recognition in this top 10 list. Coming in at number seven on my list is the previews exclusive Unmasked Batman. Now, speaking of Michael Keaton Batman, here we have with this Unmasked version, which I know is a lot of people's favorites, like right up there in their top five, but there's something about this that I feel like should have been a little bit better than what it is, but nonetheless, it is cool to acknowledge Michael Keaton here. You can definitely tell with the head sculpt of this pop, even older version, that it is Michael Keaton. They basically kept the same hair hairstyle there for what he had in the 1989 Batman movie, but with obviously gray hair now. It's in the simplistic posing of arms to the side doing nothing, which I wish it was more in a battle pose, but I don't think he's really fighting that much, or I would assume he's not fighting that much without the mask, but nonetheless, I know that a lot of people would add this on the list too, and I mean, it is still pretty decent, but there could have been a bit more detail to where it could have shot up to at least the top five portion of my list. Coming in at number six on my list is the Walmart exclusive Michael Keaton Batman. Now here is some detail in which why I think this pop would be better than the unmasked version. I mean, it's in a battle pose. One arm is kind of sticking up high and one is like low, but it's at least not to the side. I really love the battle damage as terms to the outfit. You can really see it on the cape there and how it's really torn up up on all ends of it and even on parts of the mask also where you can see near the nose and the left side of the chin which I do really enjoy of course once again with the Batman mask you do have the white eyes just popping out there with a little bit of gray in the background like you've seen with the Ben Affleck Batman pop the detail on this is really really awesome but the reason it didn't crack the top five portion is because I had a bit more personal reaction in terms to the next five plus I feel like there was more detail as terms to the next five I'm gonna be talking about compared to what we have here, although this could have possibly made it the top five though. Coming in at number five on my list is the common Wonder Woman for this set. I am a pretty big fan of Wonder Woman when it comes to the DC movies. The 2017 movie is 
actually my favorite DC movie in the DC Extended Universe, so that has something to do with how I placed this on the list. I mean, overall, there is a lot of detail when it comes to these Wonder Woman pops, especially this one, where you have the hair flowing in the wind right there, you have the headband, you also have her lasso, where obviously you have it rolled up in her hand, but it's also like in the middle of being used. I really like that detail. It's in a cool stance. It's not just like arms to the side and legs just stuck together like a 2012 Funko Pop. It's actually in a pretty decent pose, which is why I rated it at least number five on this list. Although, like I mentioned, it could have switched spots with the other Batman, but I decided because of how the stance is and the detail added to this, that's why it's at number five, not number six. Coming in at number four on my list is the General Zod as a part of the common set. This thing is pretty sweet. This is actually the first time we are seeing General Zod in a DC movie since the Man of Steel movie, which I mean, I mentioned about Wonder Woman 2017 being my favorite DCEU movie. Man of Steel was my second favorite. And the fact that they added General Zod back into the DC extended universe, which I don't know if James Gunn is planning on using General Zod for his vision of DC. It's still cool that we do see the return of General Zod because it was basically a fan favorite villain. I mean, General Zod was pretty insane in that Man of Steel movie, and to see him in this movie shocked a lot of people, including myself, and I think General Zod is part of the reason why people are excited about this movie because we haven't seen him in actually 10 years since Man of Steel came out in 2013. So in terms of the pop, it's basically spot on of what he looks like. They made one for the Man of Steel lineup 10 years ago, but now we have a 2023 standards version of him and it looks awesome with the way his hair is. You do have that goatee, the eyebrows showing an expression there. It is once again in a simplistic pose, but I think that's all you needed. But if it was, let's say in a moments or it had a different stance, then I think it definitely could have shot up high on this list. Maybe number two, because I feel like my number one pick, I feel like is a lot of people's favorites and I don't know how it would top up this number one pick that I have, but nonetheless, I knew that General Zod had to make not only this list, but at least in the top five portion of this top 10 list. Coming in at number three is the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark, The Flash. This is pretty sweet. We've had similar pops to this though, which is why it didn't show up any higher, but I do like the aspect that there wasn't a common version of this specific Flash, and then you had to get the Glow in the Dark version as an Amazon exclusive. This is the only Flash pop that is like this for this set at least so far because like I mentioned there could be more coming down the pipeline. I like the aspect of obviously the lightning that is glow in the dark and especially part of the mask is also glow in the dark there too. That's pretty cool. Coming in at number two on my list it is the dark flash as a part of the common set. Now this is a really cool detailed pop and I remember when Funko officially confirmed the flash pops this pop was not in that initial announcement of glam shots and that people found this in stores before it was announced. So it was weird that they didn't announce this, but I even seen this in person when it had released and this is a pretty decent pop. It's a really cool take of Flash because once again, it brings up that curiosity of like, okay, is Flash going to be a bad guy for part of the movie or because the movie is kind of focusing on like a multiverse, hence why you see like Keaton Batman an Affleck Batman that maybe this is a flash from a different universe within the Flash movie. So it's really cool that we have this. The outfit's cool. The detail of, I don't know if that's like a mask or more of like a symbiote type dealio, but it's still pretty decent and a really cool version of Flash as terms of the set instead of just an abundance of what Flash normally looks like in Funko Pop form. And now coming in at number one, my favorite pop from the Flash movie, and that is the Flash movie moments for the common set. This is wicked, and this is kind of how I teased about, I don't know how any pops that could be made after this could surpass this one because this thing is insane. You have the Flash kind of like moving super fast and he's catching babies all over the place. I mean, you got five different babies just flying in different directions and he's trying to catch all of them. And you can actually see that the background is kind of like a 3D model. So it isn't just a normal picture that they put there. And I believe also that the stand that it's there, like the base is clear so that it gives more an effect that they're actually in the air and not on the ground, which I think this is absolutely wicked. And I know a lot of people do enjoy this pop. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys comment in the comment section below that this is your favorite pop because this thing is insane compared to a lot of pops, not only for this set, but 
pops in general that we've seen in a long time. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's top 10 list of the Flash Funko Pops, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're gonna plan on seeing this movie, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. One, two, three, I'm out of here.